on May 21st, 2014, 4.20 in the evening in Taiwan. Taipei Metro was as busy as usual. But that's when the terror struck. A man with a 12-inch fruit knife started to attack passengers at random. People panic, running and shouting with nowhere to go, trapped in the moving train. This event is known as Taipei Metro Mass Stabbing Spree, a tragedy that shook people of Taiwan. In the wake of the attacks, I saw that the community was angry, afraid, and distrusting of each other. No one wanted to walk within two feet of anyone else on the streets or in public transports. The news media immediately went crazy for sensational coverage. That night, I asked myself, what can I do to change the narrative of our news media? How can I be the agenda setter? What solution can I deliver in the shortest possible time to stop the news media from badgering the family of the deceased and to make people feel warmth and positivity towards each other again? And that was the aha moment. If people tend to stay in their safety bubbles after this tragedy, how about breaking their bubbles? Maybe I can launch a free hot campaign? If you think about it, it's very low cost and quick. I only needed a few cardboard signs and my two arms. It could be my minimum viable product to experiment on this crazy, ambitious, news agenda changing idea. So, I did it. And the result was fantastic. I attracted many and more people to join my campaign. News media started to cover positive events around the country. People on the street rebuilt their trust again, opening their arms to one another. Looking back, I realized it was a very successful cycle of ideation, experimentation, and evaluation. This event and philosophy still impact every aspect of my work. Since then, a girl who could only draw stick figures and have zero knowledge about programming started her design journey. First, I interned as a UX designer in Taiwan at the most prestigious magazine known for its concern about humanistic issues. I helped them set up UX process, including interview, wireframing, and user testing. After joining UMSI, I want to continue contributing to the underrepresented communities. So I volunteer at a local senior center to revamp their website. At the same time, I work on a smart rehab app for injured student athletes, supporting both their physical and mental health. Another project I work on is called Ivy Scouts, a startup that aims to provide K-12 kids in low-resource communities an online learning experience with an AI-enhanced technology. From free hugs to UX design, I utilize agile and affordable methods to maximize positive results. The end product doesn't always have to be a piece of software, if you are curious. It could be a more efficient office procedure or even an impactful social movement. Think big, start small, move fast, then make an impact. I'm Yu Shen, a passionate UX designer who aims to make the world better through design. If you are interested, share your passion with me, or maybe you can ask me for a free hug. <laughs>